We are coming up on 20 years since the end of the original barn on Blanchard. When the Victoria Memorial Arena was demolished in 2003, it marked the end of 54 years of events, and many in town were looking for ways to keep its memory alive. We we're thinking of a shape of the arena uh, in a small paperweight size. We we're thinking of that. Uh, something a little smaller would be keychain, so something somebody could take it with them. Robertson probably won't encapsulate this piece of the action for seats from Memorial Arena. I'm in seat 15. City Hall advises anybody who has the right to take something out of Memorial Arena has already been notified, so there's no point in going down. You will not be allowed to take any items of your own. This is a part of the front entrance stairway at Memorial Arena that I tore out with my bare hands. Do I have to give it back? Well, no, there's really no souvenirs available now. The building's been completely stripped out and there's not much left and it's getting ready for, for demolition. Mr. May is one of possibly hundreds of people who are disappointed the good stuff is gone. Anything in here you'd want to keep? There certainly is, the Stanley Cup banner. I'd love to have that in my living room. It's already spoken for. Yeah, oh, too bad. It opened in 1949 and was the home to the Victoria Shamrocks. It hosted the Victoria Maple Leafs and the Cougars in the WHL before they went to Prince George. And don't forget the salsa, plus so many concerts and events. Keith Wells had the story on the day that the first sledgehammer was swung. Parties don't always go according to plan. This scene from a Steve Martin movie is similar to what the mayor of Victoria and the Memorial Arena demolition team ran into Monday morning. The mood around the building was festive as hundreds of people gathered to watch the 54-year-old barn crumble to the ground. But the mayor quickly found out that the building wasn't going down easily. Uh, there was a lot of resistance, and we're, we're hoping that the 4,500-pound ball will actually do a much better, better job than us. At first, that two-ton ball didn't have any better luck than the mayor. The stubborn old building spoiling the party. Looks like it's going to take a little while. It takes a while. I don't know why they didn't use dynamite instead of, instead of that. <laughs> a big crowd and it's not very dramatic. <laughs> Did you think, uh, you know, we'd be seeing a little more action? Well, like the little one said, why don't they bang it instead of poking it? <laughs> Some people familiar with the building weren't surprised. Oh, no, we never thought it was coming down to start with. <laughs> <laughs> this is earthquake proof. I don't care what they've told me. <laughs> Eventually, the pieces did begin chipping away. Full demolition, expected to take three weeks. It's a, a great day, I think, in Victoria's uh, eyes in the fact that we will have a new building that we can actually all uh, use in the future. Uh, we're looking at the future. Uh, we have to remember the past. And we do have great memories in this building. Rewind, brought to you by Drain Pro Plumbing. 24-hour emergency plumbing, nights, weekends, whenever.